Okay, after we saw the Washington Post's little simulator of how diseases spread, Simon suggested that we could make one in Scratch, and here's what we came up with. Oh. Oh no! Okay, let's start that again. <laughs> so in this little model, we've made, uh, I think, 50 people. And 51. the blue people are healthy people, the purple people are sick, and the green people are people who've recovered from being sick. So you'll notice when a blue person touches a purple person, um, the blue person turns purple, and every so often a purple person will randomly turn green when they recover. And you can see in this simulation actually already the sickness is running out. There's just two sick people left before everyone else got sick. One more, still one more sick person. Let's see what happens. Oh, two oh, two oh, sick oh no. People. Oh, still two sick people. Oh, one. Oh, okay. And everyone's recovered now. And it looks like a bit more than half the people got sick and the other people stayed healthy. Cool. We should also have disease carriers who aren't sick. Yeah. Who are yeah. like secretly sick. So we made this um, in Scratch, and here's our little program, but I think we're going to stop recording now and we're going to make our program better and have it do more things and be more realistic. <laughs>